like in crisis. I'm having a crisis. I look like I'm smuggling potatoes in these pants. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and help run your business. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Uh <laughs> Let's try not to cry already. So today for you guys, I have another wantable uh, unboxing and try on. And the reason um, there's so much just like emotion already building up inside of me is because I've had this box for a little while. I have. And uh, with this subscription, if you keep your box longer than three days, they just go ahead and assume that you love everything inside of it and you want to purchase it all for yourself and keep it and give them the money and keep the items that they sent to you. Oh, well, um, so the, uh, yeah, yeah, I got this box a while ago and I had full intention of like as soon as I got it doing the unboxing, filming this video, and then most likely sending stuff back because the last one was horrendous. So bad. So very bad. But I made a very fatal mistake. I took the little box. I took it. I set it next to all the other little boxes that I get in the mail. I get so many boxes in the mail. And then I forgot it existed. Object permanence is something that I do not possess. At this point, the three-day time period has definitely elapsed. And um, I received an email a little while ago from Wantable being like, oh my goodness, we did such a good job. You loved everything that we picked for you. We went ahead and charged your account for all of it. Every single item. And I I had totally forgotten about the box until that email and the amount that I was charged is um, astronomical. <laughs> Uh, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm paying for a wedding currently. I'm opening up a second store and I'm also apparently just, you know, racking it up with Wantable. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put the total amount that they charged me like in the title or anything, or may maybe just wait, <laughs> wait till the end to surprise you guys. Surprise you like it surprised me. It was a very um, heartbreaking surprise. I did cry. I ha yep, I have already cried about this box and I'm <laughs> they might, it might happen again. So here it is. Here's the little box on um, here. Everything is inside of the box somehow the amount they charge me equates to items that can fit just inside this little box. I still don't know what the clothing items are. I have paid for them but I, I don't know what they are yet because I've been too afraid to open this box and just have my soul crushed by what's ever in and is in here. I'm sorry for the long introduction. I just felt like I had to rant just a little bit just, just to make me feel better. I still think the personalized sticker is pretty cute. I do like that. Maybe I'll keep it this time to you know because I paid so much for money for this. Is that a purse? Oh god, it's a purse. Okay, so the very first thing I'm seeing in here, we have a little bag. Um, this, it's pretty, it's okay. This is pretty cute. What's on my arm? Oh, yeah, that's where I burned myself with my air fryer. I do like the color of this bag. It is a nice brown. It is pretty soft. It's got like a little tassel on the front. That's pretty fun. I'm gonna assume it's like a chain though, and I am not a fan of chain style purses. Yes, it is unfortunately just a very yellow gold chain. Why is it that color. <laughs> this looks almost green. Like that's a very interesting um, shade of yellow to go with for this chain. I personally unfortunately will not carry this. I won't. I, I won't um, because I don't like chains for straps. I have a Poshmark. Maybe you know, you, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, there's a very good chance it's going to end up on Poshmark. So I'll link, I'll link that down below. This is from Katie Luxon London. It is the Freya Tassel Crossbody Bag in brown. And honestly and truly, if this was a regular strap, Strap. This is probably something I would carry. It would be a nice, just, you know, something if you're like going out, you don't want to carry a big, thick bag. You could just throw some stuff in there. It's not really too much organization. There's a little like zipper pocket and things, but you know, you, you could chuck a phone and some lip gloss and, and, and stuff in there. So yeah, that's the first thing. That's it. That's the first thing. And um, unfortunately, if this were like, oh, if you know, I could go back in time, you know, and make better decisions in my life. Um, I, this is something that I probably would not, or I know I actually would not have purchased from this box, but now I own it. Okay, next, this is a good color. I do like this color of like olive green. One of my favorite shirts is this color. So yeah, this is a good start. And it's just a t-shirt. It is just a t-shirt. It is fairly soft though. I do like a nice kind of thin material, kind of vintagey feeling tee. This is from the brand 78 and Sunny. And um, yeah, I like this color. So this might be something that I actually like from this box. This is the cotton, con, 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 con. What? Cor on Addo? Coronado? I thought it said Colorado. And my brain can't read anything else besides Colorado, because that's just what it assumed it was. But it's the Coronado crew olive night shirt in the size medium. So we'll give that a try. Okay, black. Black. This is good. This is good. Seems very um regular. Oh, you know. 
Sure. Oh, this is from the brand Wantable. I didn't know they had their own like line of stuff. So this is actually from the Wantable brand. Again, a very lightweight, kind of thin, soft, a little bit see-through, not gonna lie. Like, can you guys very clearly see my hand through there? Because I certainly can't. Wait, can you see my whole face? Can Hello, can you see me? This is super thin. It does seem like it might be a little bit on like the looser, kind of flowier side. It is a size medium, it just seems kind of larger. It's got a v-neck to it. It's a long sleeve. It's black. It is currently 100 degrees outside. So, you know, there's that but um, it's something that I personally would pick up You know at the TJ Maxx. Okay, so the next item we have in here I personally love the color of this. I like the feel of it But just picking it up the heft the weight the thickness I don't know what season they think we're oh, it's a sweater dress. It's a full sweater dress It's a hundred outside. I live in Kentucky Apparently it wants to be a hundred degrees outside with like a thousand percent humidity So no the sweater dress the Though I do like the idea behind it, I like the color and stuff. Like this is not an appropriate seasonal thing. <laughs> yes, I'll just have to wait to fall if I do even like this to break this out. Um, it does look like it might actually have some shape to it. It, <laughs> it looks a little bit nicer than that like ghostly nightgown they gave me from the last box. Looking like Ebenezer Scrooge. Um, <laughs> this one at least has like a little bit of like darting in at the waist, so there might be some you know shape to it. I do like the color. It's from the shade. It's from the shade. It's from the brand Gilly, which that's that's kind of a cute brand. This is the square neck ribbed knit dress in terracotta. What is this? What is this? Are these dress pants? Why is this so heavy? Why? Why? What is this? Oh, whatever it is, it's very expensive. I just saw the, I saw the tag. I saw the price tag. Why am I shocked? I know how much I pay for all of this altogether. It's a blazer. It's a women. It's a fancy woman's going to the office blazer. Oh, it's, it's very stretchy though. That's kind of nice. Are those khakis? Why do you all think I work? I, the, I literally, I work in here, this, I work in this room. I work in this very room right now. I'm currently dressed for the office. Do you want to see what I'm wearing? Under Armour shirts and a men's Star Wars t-shirt. This, I'm dressed and ready for the office currently. Um, so, you know, <laughs> a black blazer, why not? You know, why not? I've seen people layer things like this over top of like cute little dresses for going out and stuff. But again, it's summertime, it's 100 degrees. You cannot wear a thick, heavy, black blazer over a dress, even at nighttime right now, at least where I live. It is very stretchy at least. Am I more office ready? Why are the sleeves so short? Are they supposed to be that short? Do I look more professionally dressed for my everyday job? Because like this is, this is it. This is my everyday job. Just a quick note on my style profile, it did ask how often I would like to receive things for like the office and I said never because I never go to an office. I either work from home or from a vintage store. So, so no office stuff for me. It is actually very stretchy. I do like the stretchiness of it. Okay. Next up, khakis. Because, w sure, why not? I hate I hate khakis. I hate them. Absolutely, I despise a khaki. This is a real legitimate question because I wondered this for years. Does anybody actually legitimately enjoy wearing khaki? You wake up in the morning and you're like, you know what I want to wear today? khakis. Is that something that happens or are you like me and you only wear khakis when it is required by somebody else? By some other group, by some other organization, by your boss? Because the last time I wore khakis was when I was in my fake sorority group and they told us we had to wear khakis and you know what? I hated them. These aren't like actual like true khakis. It's like khaki colored jeans, but I just, I can't, I hate them. <laughs> I know that I'm not gonna like this. Why does the front of this look so weird? Like why is that front panel like that? What the heck? Are these children's pants? There's no zipper. Holy. I'm trying to figure out at what point in this video I'm gonna cry again over a clothing subscription. Okay, so these are the Gia Glider New Revolutionary Crop Skinny in the Shade Latte, aka khaki. They have functional front and back pockets. It's like, oh great, they gave us women's pants with like real pockets in them, but then they took away the zipper and the button. They glide right on, effortlessly pull on style for easy wear. What makes these any easier to put on than a regular pair of pants? Honestly, these might be nice for like accessibility purposes, like people that might have like mobility issues with their hands, like a hard time either like zipping or buttoning. That might be great. I just don't understand, like they're not saying they're for accessibility. They're just saying like, oh, you don't have to worry about buttoning your pants now. Anyway, these are from the brand Liverpool and we'll, we'll, we'll try them on. Maybe I'll love them. Maybe I will. But they just look like pants you get at Walmart. I bet I can find like stretchy kind of like ruched waist pull up pants at Walmart. Like basically these are just they're jeggings. 
right? They're jeggings that you did your best to make look like jean khakis. I just, I'm, I'm, I just, I, okay, well, you'll, we'll try them on. Well, I will try them on. That's all I can do. That's all I can do at this point. It's just, it's try them on. Alrighty, so the last thing we have here in the box, these might actually be something I like. So these are a high rise cuffed skinny in medium. These are from Vervet, Los Angeles. They are high rise cuffed skinny jeans in medium light blue. All that sounds pretty nice. All that sounds like something that I would wear myself. So yeah, okay, these can be pretty cute. There is some distressing. I like the little cuff. I like the wash of these and I like that they're high rise. So <laughs> this might be something that I actually really like. I surely am hoping that I like these because so far I am quite um, upset by what's happening inside of this box. But these look like something that I would pick out myself. So um, yeah, I'm excited to try these on. Okie dokie, I guess let's let's do this. Really quick before we move on into the try on, I would love to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is perfect for anyone looking to build their brand, grow their business online, engage with their audience, or honestly, just really anything you would need a website for. Not only do I use Squarespace for my business, I also use it for personal reasons, like building my wedding website. Squarespace is so easy to use and has a bunch of really cool and useful features, like galleries where you can display images and videos in unique ways, blogging and commenting features that allow you to create a community on your Squarespace site. It even has a fully integrated commenting system that supports things like threaded comments, replies, and likes. And Squarespace gives you the ability to connect your social media accounts and display posts from your social profiles directly on your Squarespace site. So if you are looking for something to help create a unique online presence, boost your brand, or help run your business, then check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com to Alexandria Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, so first up here, we have the knit dress. And I personally, I just, I don't think it's doing me any favors. We got some like lumps and bumps and things happening here, some weird wrinkles, and it just hits in a strange spot on me. Like all of this is really flat to my stomach instead of flowing out from like here, it flows out from down here, which I don't really think that's a flattering place for things to begin to flow. Um, So like if this flowy bit was more like up here, creating a bit more of like a skater skirt, that might be a little bit better than having this flat panel just like real tight to my tummy and then flowing out from, you know, down below. I mean, overall it's like, it's fine. It's kind of comfy just to throw on. I'm just imagining how much nicer it would be if it was up like that. Um, I don't know, it's fine. Maybe it's just like not suitable for my personal figure. Like the color is nice, it is super, super soft. I do like that. I do tend to like a square neckline. So like the neckline and stuff is okay with me. I like a long sleeve, but just it's unfortunately, it's just not very flattering. Again, it's kind of potato sacky. It's giving me like a very square vibe, like, a, you know, just a nice brick. I look like a brick and not in like the Commodore's brick house way, like it just an actual like masonry brick. This might look fantastic on somebody else, but I just personally am not loving it on me. Okay, so next up here, we have the world's most just basic outfit. We have a regular, just kind of flowy, thin t-shirt and some high-rise jeans. Um, I mean, it's it's a comfy outfit. Like, this is very comfortable. The jeans actually do fit pretty well. I'm kind of excited about these. Like, they fit really nicely. There's not a ton of gapping. I like the little cuff at the bottom. <laughs> little cuff, <laughs> shaking like a leaf. Little cuff at the bottom, and I do like some distressing. I like honestly when my knees are poked out because like I know it's not going to get stretchy at my knees. Like I can bend all day and this knee is not going to get stretched out. This knee on the other hand might. The t-shirt itself is fine. It is a really nice olive green color. I do like this color. It does fit slightly strange on me. Like it's a little bit tight around the arm and like kind of like high necked but like I, it, it just something about it is a little bit different than t-shirts I typically wear. I am wearing a strapless bra right now so like there's some weird stuff going on here so I'll just don't pay attention to this but like the rest of it even though it is very comfortable and like loose there's just something off about like the way it fits on me but all in all like it's just a t-shirt it's a soft thin t-shirt the price of this is insane for what it is we'll get to that in a minute um but like for me personally I wouldn't wear it just like this I would have to tie it or I would have to like tuck it in or do something just because the shape is kind of odd for me I guess we'll go ahead and try it on with our nice thick heavy blazer because you know it's not a hundred degrees outside. Why do I feel like a man from the 80s? Like I just, all of a sudden I just really want to like 
Okay, so here is the blazer. I will say that it does actually fit pretty nicely. Like, it's a tiny, tiny touch, like, kind of loose and oversized, but not so much where it just looks baggy. It does have a nice fit to it, and I am kind of picturing it dressed up with, like, a little dress underneath and some heels or something. It could be cute in, like, another time. Not, not this current time, because this current time is sweltering, so this cannot happen during this time. But, um, I guess if it's still in fashion to wear, like, blazers with your dresses, and stuff for going out. I could do that, not that I go out a lot, especially to places fancy enough to like warrant wearing a blazer with heels and a dress. Um, but it's here, you know. There, oh, there's oh, there's no pockets. Are you serious? Is it like where they sew them shut for fancy suits? No, there's just no pockets. They're fake. Who designed this? Are there inside pockets? No! Why would you put a pocket there and make it fake? What? Listen, and this is not one of those little things where it's like kind of tacked together and you like stick your fingers in there and like break the seal of the pocket. I don't think anyway. Oh, it is. Oh, I'm not gonna do it though. Should I keep this? I don't know. <laughs> Should I try to sell this on Poshmark? Should I break the seal? I was about to be so upset if they gave us like a little pocket piece here without actually like making it functional. All right, let me try to like, let me like tuck this up and like, you know. <laughs> Can you tell I kind of feel uncomfortable in this? Like, I just don't know what to do, like, with my hands. I don't know. Maybe I can make it work. Maybe I can find something where I'm like, yes, this is cute. Instead of wearing my typical, like, old man cardigan, I can go for something a little bit more structured, a little bit more fancy, a little bit more high-end. We'll see, though. We will see. I'm gonna go ahead and slip into something a little less comfortable. I feel like I just got hired at Target, and I'm just trying to find a comfortable pair of pants to work in. I'm sad. I'm I'm so very sad. This this is so very sad. I've never felt uh, less attractive in my entire life. What is this? Wantable, we're gonna have to have a long, hard, serious talk about what you think is fashionable and what's gonna look good on people. What is this? What, what am I wearing right now? Like, the only reason I would ever ever wear something like this is if I just got hired on a Target and I need a comfortable pair of khakis to get me through my long shift. Like, they're comfortable, sure. Do they look hideous? Sh yes. Obviously. This is so bad. They're like baggy in all the wrong weird places. They're so... <laughs> Looks like I'm wearing a diaper underneath here. Also, the functional pockets that you guys are bragging about. Functional my butt. What are you gonna fit in there? What do you put in there? I mean, <laughs> this is just so unflattering. Everything about this is so unflattering. I'm like in crisis. I'm having a crisis. You guys are gonna freak out when I tell, oh my gosh, you're gonna freak out when I tell you how much they charge me for all the items inside of this box. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> okay, now that we've talked about these pants, let's go ahead and move on to the top, shall we? Let's move on to this just ill-fitting, overpriced, loose, kind of baggy, black see-through shirt. So the sleeves, first of all, are just at like the strangest length. These are not three-quarter. These are not like a full sleeve. This is just like mildly above your wrist kind of sleeve length. I don't know what that is. For some reason, this arm is so much more baggy than this arm. I don't, I don't know why. It's a full box. This is literally just a box. There's no shape to this one whatsoever. The neckline is fine. The neckline's whatever. It's fine. Um, it is soft. It's definitely going to be like breathable and lightweight because it's like fully see-through. And again, the price for this is insane. You guys are going to freak out. I look like I'm smuggling potatoes in these pants. I don't understand why these look so bad. Okay, I have to get this off my body before I get like just you know, irrationally angry. <laughs> ah, I'm furious. I went to unbutton the pants. Silly me. Peel these things off my my body. I'm sorry guys, I'm like out of breath from screaming. I, I'm sorry that was so yelly, but I am fully infuriated. I'm infuriated. I can't be just mad at Wantable because it was my fault for not like doing the unboxing within the three days time. So I am infuriated with myself, but I'm also infuriated that these are the clothes that they send out to people. I mean, the two of the most basic boring shirts I've ever seen in my entire life, stretchy unflattering potato sack pants, a knit dress and a heavy blazer in the middle of summer and then a pair of jeans that are kind of okay and a, and a purse that I just happen to not like but I'm sure other people would and I feel like my anger is going to be more justified once you guys hear the prices of these items and how much I paid total for all of the items in this box <laughs> so let's see if I can get through this without crying what are they talking about hey Alexandria love styling you today this splash of summery pieces will do just the trick in keeping you cool and comfy as the weather gets warmer you guys ready for this are you ready all right here we go here we we're about to get into it <laughs> 
yeah, we're about, let's go. So the very first thing we have is the Liverpool Chia Glider Crop Skinny Pants in the shade Latte, which are <clears throat> $98. I would pay somebody $98 to take those things out of my sight currently. Next, we have the Del Mar Slinky Long Sleeve Tee in Black, which was originally $54 and for some reason they've marked it out and said it was $27 probably because in what universe is that worth $54? You have like 37 cents worth of fabric inside of that shirt. Who decided that was going to be $54? It's just like it's a po it's polyester I'm assuming. Polyester, spandex, like we're not talking about silk here. This isn't like Angora. I don't know what modal is but it's 95% modal and then it's 5% spandex. Then we have the high rise cuff skinny jeans in medium light blue. They're $58. That's seems pretty reasonable to me like what I see based on like subscription boxes and stuff for jeans 58 bucks pretty reasonable for jeans. The square necked rib dress in terracotta from Gilly was $58. For some reason it's marked down to $43. Maybe because it's summertime and typically like fall and winter pieces do get clearanced out during the summer usually. Um, But yeah, either $58 or $43. I don't think it's that bad. It did seem like a pretty well made item. Like it, it felt kind of high quality. It just unfortunately, I just, I just didn't like it on me. Then we have the boyfriend blazer in black, which is $109. Dollars one or nine people one zero nine to be honest. I have no I, I've never bought a blazer in my life I have never purchased a blazer before so $109. I don't I don't know if that's good or not. I did kind of like the fit of it. I liked that it stretched and I could potentially see it working in my wardrobe. Kind of. I just, why am I thinking all of a sudden that I'm fancy? I'll wear it somewhere. I'll, I'll figure it out. Then we have the Coronando Crew in Olive Night, which is $46 for that little t-shirt. I'm sorry. I know it kind of drives people crazy sometimes when I bring up like TJ Maxx and stuff, but that is a $9.99 t-shirt at TJ Maxx. It just is. And then it would say compare at like $12 because there's no way that it's worth $46 for a plain simple t-shirt. And then finally we have the Freya tassel crossbody bag in brown. It's $45. I mean I personally I wouldn't pay $45 for that purse. I feel like you can get that almost anywhere for less than that but $45 isn't insane I suppose. But what is insane? If you guys just if you haven't been doing the math like as I've been going let me get you guys to my, my, my subtotal my total for all these items that I paid for that I now own. So the merchandise total for all of these things together is $426.50. The Keep 5 discount was $85.30. So the order subtotal was $341.20. I do get my styling fee credit back. So $21.20, I guess that's with like the sales tax. Um, but then again, the sales tax for purchasing this was $20.47. So that brings my order total to $340.47. That is how much I paid paid for the items that I just showed you guys in this try on. And that is why when I opened up the email and saw my order total, I cried. <laughs> I didn't even know it was in the box yet. I didn't know. But from my past experience from this box, I was like, this isn't going to be good. This is going to be pretty bad. So you guys, again, like I'm upset. I'm definitely upset, but I'm, I, I'm upset with myself because this is an issue I have. I have a really hard time like keeping track of things like this. And it is something that I'm trying to work on with myself, but I'm also just really upset like these clothes clothes, man. These clothes. The prices they're charging for like simple t-shirts and stuff like that. I told them in my description of like what I liked. I like to keep it simple and classic, but I liked a little, you know, a little like something extra. I didn't say anywhere that I wanted to wear just like plain t-shirts. I truly thought they were going to give me something with like some kind of like style to it, like something a little extra to like make this kind of money make sense. But no, like these are just really plain, simple, everyday items. I thought this was like a styling service where they were supposed to like enhance you, bring out your style, but just khakis and a t-shirt, that's not like an enhanced style, at least in my opinion. This one's been angry. I'm so sorry, you guys. This one has been kind of ranty and angry, but like $340 is so much money, especially like I just have so much else that I need to pay for right now. Like a full wedding, a honeymoon, a new store. Like there's just so much else that I could have put that money towards. And now I own a pile of clothes that like I might wear one or two things out of. Thank you so very much Squarespace for sponsoring this video by the way because daggone, <laughs> daggone, I need, I need to recoup some of my funds. Anyway, so that is all I have for you guys today. <laughs> Thank you so very much for watching. I made it through without crying so that's good. Let me know if you thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I would definitely be interested in hearing what you guys have to say about these things. And uh, yeah, just 
thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye.